species predominantly being known as the seagull, that's where you most commonly see them. Not just an endemic species to Australia, they're also found throughout, found, sorry, throughout parts of China, Indonesia, India as well, that kind of stuff. So if you're on the lookout, although river systems like the Murray Darling here in Australia, the billabongs out throughout northern Australia, are places where you can uh, most commonly see this species, which is uh, uh, a really awesome one to see. So very similar to the osprey in, in the habitat and, and ways that they hunt. The osprey is another coastal raptor, which the white bellied seagull can be mistaken for uh, quite readily in some cases. I'll get him up in the glove now, you guys. I'll get him to fly uh, or sort of yeah, in front of as many people as he can. So, there we go, beauty. These guys are going to delicately pluck prey off of the surface of the water as opposed to the osprey. They're going to submerge their whole bodies usually. The uh, white-bellied seagull, when they're a juvenile animal, is a really brown mottled coloration. So uh, misidentification can occur quite readily with wedge-tailed eagles and the osprey. Once they reach four years, you can, here in Australia, not misidentify them for anyone else. The only really distinct white rats that you have. Those, uh, yeah, you have grey shoulders there, grey back you've got as well. He's uh, going after mainly fish, marine or freshwater, depending on what's going on.